score from him. And the sevens are pushing. Cullen, Webb, Abbott, Robinson, and Christian Wood, the five on the floor for the sevens. Abbott fakes a three. There's Pullen who tries, but then he steps it on back and nails it. And one of the things, Jacob Pullen is obviously a two-way player, and he's lost on the weekend, uh, but you always like seeing the ball go in the hoop on your first try. Especially early this morning. Here's Webb with his spin. Nice move in the post, and the sevens out of the timeout of 13 and 14. He averages 15 a game. Webb, jacks at three. That's in. Dingle, his first shot of the game. That's a Temple product in Dingle. Abbott loses it in the post. Here's Pullen. Fakes and steps in. He's two for two. Nice move there. I know you like... Mark Loving in for the first time, as is Shane Edwards. He hands off to Pullen from the elbow. Make it three for three for Jacob Pullen. I don't believe he's touched the rim either. <laughs> I think they've all been nothing but... 27, Drew Barham. Pullen for three, and he got hit. Didn't get the shot, but three coming at the line for Jacob Pullen. That was his first miss, but even still he... Well... Jacob Pullen probably just so hungry for some minutes because he has been with the Sixers, hasn't gotten to play, and he is a 30-minute guy if he were playing down here in the G League. So a great start for him, and Coach Burroughs has no problem riding him if he has it going on. He's been there, he's been with the team. Do you believe just being around there makes him more confident through, like, osmosis, so to speak? It would be a possibility because T.J. McConnell was hurt that they might need his services, but they were able to get it done because... Davis now picked up by Pullen. 12 to shoot. There's a deep three from Andrew White, and it doesn't go. I'd love to have seen him play at UMass, quite frankly. He must have been a fun guard at the college level. Offensive rebound from Loving. And he goes back up and deposits two. Defense in this first quarter, not on that particular play, but I do think defensively they've been strong. They've been much better on defense. Sevens have recently. What a take from Pullen, and with seven-tenths of a second left, Jacob Pullen gets the final two points of the first. Delaware leads by four, thanks in large part to that man. How about double figures already for Pullen? We'll be back with a second quarter after this. We've played a minute in this second quarter. Sevens by two. There's Pullen all the way to the 10, and he is fouled. So Jacob Pullen was really the star of the first quarter for the sevens. He'll go to line for two. Foul is on Devin Williams. It is his second first team foul. Good from the line this year at 88%. And he has made 12 straight free throws. A good to great shot. How about that hustle from Webb. Pullen for three. Yeah. Now, Pullen, Pullen definitely sent from three, but they have a number of guys who shoot right around 40%. How about Pullen right past Davis, and he's another one of those guys that can get it going. Pullen's ability to attack, quick little stutter step, splits the defense. He has 18 points, and I don't think there's anything he doesn't think he can do right now. And the sevens have 10 to shoot. Pullen. Oh, yeah. Pullen with 21 points. He's like, eh. Pullen, look at him. Eye in his defender. Sees that he's going to get that space that he needs to pull up, which he did. End of quarters. Trying to hold this lead, perhaps extend it. Pullen finds Okafor. He threads the needle, and Emeka puts it in for two. Yeah, and, and I'm, he'll get that pass. You thread it, he'll find it. And a steal. Webb lost it. Here's Pullen who picks it up. Sevens can work two for one. Up top and Robinson crunches it. Now I couldn't see amongst the teams in the league and they'll live with making 35%. Sevens a hold for one. Who else is going to have it but Jacob Pullen. He's got 24. But he misses that one. That would have given him a season high already. But you can't play. Here's Daniel Dixon. Williams at the free throw line. Okafor bodies him up. And there's Pullen with a steal. He had 24 in the first half. And Pullen gets swatted by Williams, trying to make it 26. Thing that I didn't mention as we take a look at this play, Pullen with the steal behind his back. A nice move. 20 points. That's a little old school. That was one that uh, my father taught me. The jump step when you go in there for the layup. You don't always have to go off one foot. 
That's more new school. Christian Wood climbing up in double figures for this game. Actually, Wood's already there. Here is Pullen for the game high 24. Wood got to be careful. Keeps the pivot. Finds Pullen, the floater. And that one rattles out, but Webb is there. Of course, started so many Celtics fast breaks with a block. Pullen right down the lane, and he gets two more. How about a season high or tying the three point shooting? It's a good combination. Win you a lot of games at this level. There goes Pullen, and he's blocked by a couple players. Jacob Pullen has 26 points. 24 of them, however, came in the first half. Pullen going right back to work. Picked up by Daniels, but he loses the ball, and it's scooped up back out and reset. Davis left open. That's well short. Rebound to Pullen. Pullen gets inside. He's fouled. You can count it. Plus one more. Season at least 30, not only from the outside D, but the inside as well. And not only that, how about the fact that he has his 30 on 15 shots? He's been sensational to being able to make that outside shot. Coach Burroughs was saying pregame, to succeed in this league, you need good point lead. It's been whittled to one. What's the key in the fourth? Well, no, that Maine's defense, they took it up a notch. And obviously, Devin Williams isn't allowing you to get any second shots with his rebounding down there. Uh, but as a result... To give him 29 for the game. And for the first time this year, Jacob Pullen has 30 in a contest. 10 of 15 from the field. Pullen has been absolutely immaculate in this game. And he's got 30 on the board. First two points for Peak, who played at Georgetown. Back to a one-point affair. Robinson wide open. And he still has not missed. Why would you leave someone that wide? From the charity stripe. Davis, stolen by Webb, picked up by Pullen, he spins out of trouble, up to Robinson, but a spotted ball by Adieye, who read that. Wood going down to the basket. So here's the steal itself, great hustle by Webb. Into his own hands, Dingle almost took it away. Wood, against Peak, almost walked but did not. Pullen, deep shot, oh, it's in and out. But it stays first half. Shots like that give you confidence, and now he drops that one here in the second half. Pullen falls down, but the ball stays with Delaware. To tie the game up or take the lead back. Pullen, nice feed to Okafor, all alone for an easy two. I mean, that's again another block that they keep in play. Now, they didn't have transition, but way to feed the big fella. And the foul. Two things about that. First of all, Christian Wood and Devin Robinson is at the line. Four apiece. But Robinson doesn't get the three-point play. It's after pulling from Okafor. And he nails it. That's what rested legs will do for you. Pullen went to the bench, had a couple minutes to regroup, and now his